What is up guys, we are back and there was a cutscene that was right about to happen before the end of the month so I decided to stop the dialogue just so you guys can see it. And here we go, he says, listen up everyone, the Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the Goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor, are you ready? Hell yeah. Oh, almost. My fault, my fault. Up. Spoke too soon. We need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. They're here. At long last. It seems this will be a battle to remember. About time. I'll never give up. No matter how outnumbered we are, I'll fight to the very end. Hmm. I should have made a move on the Imperial Princess before things got this far. It could have changed everything. We have the Goddess's divine protection on our side. All that's left is to try our best. All we can do is fight as best we can. Though, if I'm being honest, I'm really scared right now. We can't just hand over the kingdom in the monastery. We'll stop her, no matter what it takes. Your Highness, you do not seem... well. <laughs> Unwell, you say? What's gotten into you? Nothing could be farther from the truth. I'm so happy I can hardly contain myself. My father, my stepmother, my dear friends. They want her head. They want her life. They've whispered as much to me. And the chance to answer their pleas has arrived at long last. Yeah, don't act rashly, bro. <laughs> of course, of course. But don't mistake my intentions. Edelgard will die by my hand and mine alone. Let's move, Professor. Even if it costs me my life, I won't rest until I've crushed her skull in my bare hand. Okay. Kind of got to watch him. Kind of glad we did get the grind because uh, it says like level recommendation 23. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am grateful. I am grateful. I have gratitude. I heard Lysithia is like the weakest person to have. So much. I'm surprised she's like top three for tea party enthusiasts. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I think much. the tea parties are just for like increasing support between um people. Let's see. Why do you guys keep putting him in? Like they I swear they just want like some of these people to die. Out of like all the options you guys have. Of one. I want to actually see how he works in action as the Weaver and Rider. Um, that kind of just gives us extra, extra movement on the field. And guess we'll set that for my guy. Put the knowledge gem on him so he can uh, level up that skill um his skill faster for like his class and stuff i believe dimitri rainfall or the defended location was captured i have a report the enemy is within the walls they're about to break the defensive line the archbishop and the defensive line both require our assistance we must protect them until reinforcements get here yeah bro you stay there 
let's see. Wow. Okay, and there's monsters too on their side. This is this is actually interesting. I like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like how he's ready out here to mess people Stay up. Focused. I'm trying to get that axe to be to try to recruit somebody on the I'm team. On it. I'm trying to see if I should go this way. What should I do? Can we break this wall? Is that what those mean? Like I've been playing this game the whole time and had no idea what like some of this Let's take some of these uh, symbols have meant. I'll cut through. Ready. Who else? Oh, you guys. Guide me well. Um, I think you might be able to attack that archer. Nope. Okay, that yeah, was kind of awkward. Here we then. Go. Sickle. I need to heal my guy up. A bit disappointed. Report. The enemy has taken the entrances where the reinforcements were heading. We must retake the strongholds to the east and west so our reinforcements can get through. Okay. Well, we're we're gonna try. Can I attack him like that? Oh, oh man, I he's so slow. <laughs> That's all you do. Oh, she got a crit, nice. <laughs> Needed that. <laughs> it's all instinct now. Impressive. Alright, cool. We uh kinda retook that side. The Death Knights here, I didn't even notice that. That's actually good to know. Oh, what was that? Frozen Lance. It's like I want to move him up, but I don't want to move him up too far to where he'll get messed up. Hmm. 
Much needed. Trying to think who else is left. Oh yeah, these guys. Another step forward. They're really gunning for my dude. Kind of thrown off by this wall still. <laughs> Way. Yeah, we're definitely going to need people to split up, but I think, I think we're kind of good from, from this perspective. Stronger, huh? You saved me. I just know she's taking a lot of damage there. That's what I don't like. This fight is but a sideshow to the ravaging of the sacred place that is Garrick Mark. Ooh, crit. The time is not right. I will wait for the next opportunity. I like it when they get their crits. Oh, we got a dark seal. Nice. One stronghold secured. Ah, we got reinforcements there. Look at that. Thanks. If I can, I'm like, I might as well try to move her up as far as possible. Damn, 123. Is appreciated. My guy is not messing around, I swear. Thanks. Yeah. Ah, there's Hubert there, huh? 
Wonder how hard he hits. Oh fuck, there's a monster here. Okay. I think it kind of works out. Moving up here. this way. fail to appreciate is that we have at our backs a force you cannot hope to defeat hmm. I can afford to that was pretty back. easy though bro we still have the advantage both strongholds secured with time to spare like anybody else that I gotta move? You're a big help. A wonderful chance to earn some recognition. I'll be the one to Randolph. take down the monastery. Yeah, we're doing our thing out here. No choice but to distinguish myself in this fight. <laughs> 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 
We both were just missing back and forth. The guy looks kind of badass with the with the axe. I feel my strength fit. I'm tripping. I totally should have moved him right here so I could have gave him an extra movement. But it's fine, I guess. Um, since I can't attack from there. Is there anybody else I really have to worry about? No, not really. I could just take this guy out with uh, her. I'm finished. At least I think I, I think that was the best idea. that one health bar or was that the second one I can't remember it's so f okay perfect Perfect. I was kind of wondering, like, what what was there really left for us out here? Maybe people don't like using him just because like once you make him a tank it's hard to like move him around. Be mindful. Some really risky shit, I think. <laughs> Stay focused. Just to end the battle really soon. <laughs> I wish hopefully she doesn't dodge. <laughs> if she dodges, then I'm pretty sure like our guy's gonna get his ass cream. I would have done anything to make you my ally. Okay. Oh, there we go. to end it early guys you fought well but now your fight is over send in our reserve troops and give my uncle the signal whoa wait what, what is this what's about to go down yeah I'm not about to just end it off like that y'all gonna see what happens <laughs> I'm in a rush to see what happens. That's a lot of freaking people. Oh 
she's going to go? What are you going to do? Everybody here, young and old, is in your hands. So you're about to sacrifice yourself by eradicating all these people? I will not allow another Red Canyon tragedy to happen here. Ooh, what's she about to do? Oh, snap. She transforming into a monster? Oh, snap. They just did some Game of Thrones on us. Right out the on? dragons. <laughs> Light them on fire? Okay. Okay. That reminds me of uh what was it? Monster Hunter's like final boss <laughs> when he'd be shooting out the fire and stuff. Uh, what now? Or beams. Oh wow, they sent out monsters to attack. Just fly, you got wings, bro. know why you fighting on the ground if you can uh, shoot some beams from your mouth stomp she's like you didn't listen why you came did back. You come? Like the first time I heard my guy really make noise. My thank you so much. In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Yeah, the Adrestian Emperor commanded has a lot the of land. Of leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fodlin has begun. Blue and yellow about to mess up red. That's all I know. Are we on to part two finally? Part two. Agile. Yeah. Ethereal moon. Reunion at dawn. Took us 17 episodes, guys, but we finally made it to part two. It is Imperial Year 1185. Nearly five years have passed since the fall of the monastery at Garrig Mach, and oh, war damn. continues to plague the lands of Fodlin. Ferdiad has been captured. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in shambles. The Leicester Alliance is on the verge of collapse, fractured by two opposing factions, those who support the Adrestian Empire and its ruler, and those who seek her demise. Meanwhile, under Emperor Edelgard's rule of law, the Adrestian Empire continues to expand its reach. The path to a new Fodlin, unified by Imperial strength, may yet be in sight.
You. How long do you intend to sleep? Oh, now I can hear her Your voice body again. Your is awake. Your eyes must open now. And you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. Are you telling me I was asleep for five years? Even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Excuse me? Are you saying you have forgotten who I am? <laughs> How dare you? Get on your feet. Right now. I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though... There have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Anyway, I've heard some thieves have been spotted around those parts these days. Um, are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's I the was Ethereum floating down a river, bro. I think I hit my head. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing and all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? Are you crazy? I, I told you. They say thieves are running amok up there. And there's plenty of other dangers, too. I heard a rumor that Imperial troops went up there to investigate and got slaughtered. Every last one. Come on, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you, got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. Students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, is that Dimitri? My boy Dimitri? I'm alive and well, bro. You. What must I do to be rid of you? I will kill that woman, I swear it. Do not look upon me with scorn in your eyes. <laughs> Dimitri looks badass, though. It can't be. You're alive? <laughs> if that is the case... That can only mean you are another Imperial spy. Did you come here to kill me? Answer the question. <sighs> Am I? 
Yeah, I was about to ask the same thing. Is he? He lost an eye, bro. I have been dead, more or less. What do you hope to gain asking me that? There are more important matters at hand. Do you not smell them? Filthy rats everywhere. And traces of those who were here long ago. And thieves crawling from the woodwork, attracted by the promise of treasure. <laughs> Since the monastery fell, order in this area fell right along with it. You must have seen the state of the town near Garrick Mach on your way here. Vile thieves run rampant. They pillage and loot to their heart's content. I must kill them. Every last one. It's time to hunt down their nest. I told you, I will kill them all. It doesn't matter what their reasons are. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. Or do you condone their actions? I mean, isn't that what we're about to do? do you Trample believe the weak? That the pillaging and slaughtering those rats live for is justified. It is reprehensible and they must be put down. I intend to give them a taste of the pain they have inflicted on others. Even if it means becoming a rat myself, I swore to at least do that much. I will not let them down. It doesn't matter. All that matters is killing those who deserve to die. Good work. I should have known to check the monastery. Let's move quickly. Yes, sir. Dimitri, I'm on my way. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Imperial Loyalist Cornelia has subdued all regions of the former royal house of Vlavid to prevent further revolt. Prince Dimitri has been sentenced. Now, the backbone of the former kingdom, houses Gautier and Fraldarius struggle to continue the resistance. Cornelia, operating out of the royal palace, has accepted the support of the Empire to build an army and plots to wipe out all remaining kingdom forces. That won't be forgiven once we beat her ass. In the Leicester Alliance, House Regan leads an anti-imperial faction, while House Gloucester directs the Empire's supporters. Despite the undeniable threat of fracture, the Alliance's adept new leader, Claude, deftly maintains the outward appearance of a unified front. Okay, Claude, growing a little facial hair, bro. In Enbar, the imperial capital of the Adrestian Empire, Emperor Edelgard fights to strengthen her regime. She has extended her reach to the kingdom by inciting a coup and continues to draw its former lords under her influence in pursuit of controlling all of Western Fodland. In the meantime, the Knights of Seros have been dispatched to find Archbishop Rhea, who remains missing despite their searching. Left unattended, the monastery at Garag Mach has fallen to ruin and become a haven for thieves. Can't wait to replay through this, guys. Like, this story is great.
It smells of blood and sewage. Seems I found their nest. What the? Intruders! Protect the goods! Shall we go rat hunting? Don't let a single vermin escape. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Um, oh, wow, he's level 36 now. Um, so I'm going to end it off right here. Next episode, we're going to pick it back up with us fighting through all these uh, thieves right here. But I hope you guys enjoyed because I know I'm really enjoying this gameplay. But leave a like for the video if you liked the video. Also, subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. With that said, guys, take it easy. Later.